Hi, welcome to Hello Class. I'm Alan, your teacher. Today we ask a question that people love to ask. Are you married? I hear this question a lot wherever people meet. People ask this question when they are meeting a person for the first time and they want to learn about their new friend. They ask, are you married? The word married means a person has a spouse. What's a spouse? A spouse is a husband or a wife. Husbands are men, wives are women. Are you married? Let's practice this question. You say, are you married? Say it again, are you married? One more time, are you married? Ask me the question, are you married? Go ahead, it's just practice. Yes, I'm married. I have a wife and two children. Thanks for asking. The answer is, I am married. I am married. That's a positive statement. It means, I have a spouse. I have a wife. The subject is the word I, and the verb is the word am. I am. You say just those two words. I am. Now say the whole sentence. I am married. Say it again. I am married. Good. Remember the question? Right. Are you married? There are many answers to this question. One answer is my answer. Yes, I am married. Ask me the question again and I will give you different answers. I will use pictures to show you what the other answers mean. Ask me again, are you married? No, I am not married. Single means a person is not married. Single people are alone or have no special friend at this time. Are you single? People who are single might be looking for a special friend. You never know unless you ask questions. Ask me again, are you married? No, I am divorced. Divorced. Yes, there is a D sound at the end of divorced. You say it. Divorced. Again. Divorced means a marriage is broken and the person is single again. Ask me again, are you married? No, I am widowed. Widowed. Widowed has a D sound too. Widowed. Say it now. Again, widowed. Widowed means one spouse is dead. The spouse that is alive is widowed. It means to lose your spouse. Remember, a spouse is your husband or your wife. Let's review all four. 
married, married, single, single, divorced, divorced, widowed, widowed. Say all four with me. Married, single, divorced, widowed. Again. Married, single, divorced, widowed. Can you say all four by yourself? Good. Good job. Married, single, divorced, and widowed. The four words married, single, divorced, and widowed are all adjectives. They describe a person. The person is married, single, divorced, or widowed. Listen to how these words are used. The woman is single. Say this whole sentence. The woman is single. That man is single. Say the whole sentence. The man is single. I hope they meet. Maybe they will be friends. Here's another one. The woman is widowed. Say this one. The woman is widowed. The woman's husband is dead. I'm sorry. It's a little sad. The man is widowed. Say this sentence. The man is widowed. The woman is divorced. Say it. The woman is divorced. The man is divorced. Say this one. The man is divorced. Their marriage is broken. When someone asks you, are you married? And the answer is no, use a negative statement that starts with the word no. Say no. Say it again. No. After you say no, say a negative statement with the word not in the middle. After the verb am. I am not married. You say I am not married. Good. Say it again. I am not married. And now give the whole negative statement and a positive statement that gives more information about you. It sounds like this. No, I am not married. I am single. No, I am not married. I am divorced. No, I am not married. I am widowed. Let's practice the first one. No, I am not married. I am single. Listen again and then say both sentences. No, I am not married. I am single. You say them. No, I'm not married. I am single. Say it one more time. 
when someone asks you, are you married? And the answer is yes, it's easy. You say, yes, I am married. This is a positive sentence. Yes, I am married. You say it. Yes, I am married. Say it again. Okay, we are ready to have a real conversation. I'll ask the question, are you married? And you answer, yes, I am married, or no, I am not married. I am single. You can also say, I am divorced. You can also say, I am widowed. Ready? Answer this question. Are you married? Try it again. Are you married? You can have a lot of fun with this question. Ask people you meet. They will answer you, yes, I am married, or no, I am not married. They could also say, I am divorced, or widowed or single. If they are single, you might be their next special friend. What's the question again? Are you married? Thanks for joining us, but don't go away. I'll be back with more Hello Class after this. Hello, I'm Ruth. Learning to speak English can change your life. Knowing this valuable language can provide you with so many opportunities in education as well as the job market. Now you can learn English just by watching television. Introducing Hello Channel, a channel designed to help you learn English right in your own home. You can choose from Hello Channel's classroom programming or you can watch great entertainment. All of it will teach you how to speak English. Hello Channel offers programs on every level, so you'll find something exactly right for you. Start today to build success by learning English. For a brighter future, say hello. Welcome to Hello Class. I'm Alan, your teacher. Today we will learn one of the smallest words in the English language. A. Not the letter A, but the word A. A baker. A doctor. A is a very important word with a very important friend. Try to guess the name of the friend. Guess the friend of the word A. Let's start with a short conversation between two people. John wants to know if Mary is a doctor. He also wants to know if she is rich. Listen to her answers. John asks, are you a doctor? Mary says, no, I am not a doctor. John asks, are you rich? Mary says, no, I am not rich. Mary says the word no two times. She uses two negative sentences. Negative sentences start with no and have the word not in the middle. Mary says she is not a doctor and she is not rich. Say both answers together. I am not rich. I am not a doctor. Say them again by yourself. 
I am not rich. I am not a doctor. Go ahead. Good. Say them again. I am not rich. I am not a doctor. Good. No, John and Mary are not the friends you are looking for. The friend belongs to the word a. That's right. The word a has a friend. Listen to the two answers one more time. I am not rich. I am not a doctor. Do you hear the little word a in the second sentence? A doctor. A doctor. You say it. A doctor. Say it again. Here's a rule that will help you speak English. When you see the word a in front of a person, it means one person. A doctor is one doctor. When there is one person, the person needs a little word to show there is only one. We say a doctor or one doctor. A doctor is one doctor. You say it. A doctor is one doctor. Say it again. Listen to the other sentence. I am not rich. There is no A. That's because rich is an adjective. We say, I am rich or I am not rich. There is no A. Adjectives in English have no number. So there is no A in front of rich. Now you have learned an important difference between an adjective, rich, and a noun, doctor. A noun is a person, place, or thing. A noun is a person, like a baker. One noun needs the word a. Listen for the word a before doctor and baker in these sentences. I am a baker. I am not a doctor. Hear it? A baker, a doctor. Listen for a in these sentences. I am rich. I am not rich. No a. Rich is an adjective. No a before adjectives. So, what is the friend of the word a? I guess we need to practice more. I'll ask you the question. Are you rich? You answer. Are you rich? Now you ask me the question. Say, are you rich? No, I am not rich. Ask me again. No, I am not rich. Do you hear the word a in my answer? No, I am not rich. The answer is no. There is no a. Answer this question. Is rich a noun? Yes or no? Is rich a noun? Yes or no? No, rich is not a noun. Rich is an adjective. Good. Here is another question. Are you a doctor? 
What's the correct answer? No, I am not a doctor. Don't forget the A. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Now you ask me the question. Say, are you a doctor? No, I am not a doctor. Ask me again. No, I am not a doctor. Answer this question. Is a doctor a noun? Yes or no? Yes, a doctor is a noun. Doctor is a person. And a noun is a person, place, or thing. So a person is a noun. Now repeat after me. A doctor. A doctor. Your turn. A doctor. A doctor. Say it again. Doctor is a noun. What is the friend of the word a? You guessed it. A noun. Now repeat after me. A noun. A noun. A noun. A noun. Say it one more time. Good. When you have one noun, like one doctor, we say a doctor. The noun is the friend of the word a. You see them together all the time. I'm not a doctor. I'm a teacher. Teacher is another noun. It needs a friend too. The friend is the little word a. Well done. Now you know that the word a and nouns like a doctor and a teacher are friends. Look for them in more sentences as you learn more English. Don't go away. There's more Hello Class after this. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to try. You can learn English. You can learn English by watching Hello Channel. Hello, my name is Alan. Welcome to Hello Class. I'm your teacher, and I'm glad you've joined our classroom today. In our class, you'll learn how to speak everyday conversational English. It's easy. I know you can do it. Let's begin. Today, I have a new house. Today, I have a new house. For this lesson, I need four things. A hammer, a hammer, a cloth, a cloth, a brush, a brush, money, money. For this lesson, I need one person, a handyman. A handyman. What's a handyman? A handyman is a man who fixes my house. What's this? It's a hammer. What's this? It's a cloth. What's this? It's a brush. What's this? Money. And what's this? He is a handyman. Now you answer. I'll ask, 
what's this? And you answer, it's a hammer. Ready? What's this? It's a hammer. Good. What's this? It's a cloth. What's this? It's a brush. What's this? It's money. What's this? He is a handyman. Good. Now you ask me. You ask, what's this? It's easy. You ask, what's this? Go ahead now. It's a hammer. It's a cloth. It's a brush. It's money. He is a handyman. For this lesson, I need some action verbs. Fix. Fix. Wash. Wash. Paint. Paint. Buy. Buy. Use. What's use? For example, I use a hammer to fix the roof. What's a roof? This is a roof. Let's review the nouns. You answer, I'll ask. What's this? It's a hammer. Good. What's this? It's a cloth. What's this? It's a brush. What's this? It's money. What's this? He is a handyman. Great. Let's review the verbs. Fix right. Fix. Wash. Good. Paint. Buy. Nice. What's the verb? What's the verb? What's the verb? What's the verb? Great. Let's review the nouns. You tell me. What's this? It's a hammer, right? What's this? It's a cloth. What's this? It's a brush. What's this? It's money. What's this? He is a handyman. Let's review the verbs. Fix. Wash. 
paint buy don't forget to use for example I use a hammer to fix the roof your turn you say the verbs Fix. Wash. Paint. Buy. Thank you for being part of our classroom today. You did very well. I hope you join us again for more Hello Class. 